That's so interesting, John, because in New York, I would think you're all in New York. That would be such a place to have a community, but it really was, was no going to work. No, the communities yeah. were at the Chino or La Mama or Theater Genesis. That was it. And in the O'Neill, you know, in the Albee, you know, you go to the Albee workshop once a week and see that. And you'd meet people there, but there was no hanging around. Everybody would come and see the show and have, maybe have a drink after. But living with them and learning how other people from actors who were in their six, 60s and 70s and 80s at, down to their teens, how they lived their life in the theater. The O'Neill taught the most valuable idea. It taught us how to live a life in the theater and not be excluded from it, looking on the outside, saying, I wish I could get in there. It showed us, it made, it made its own world and it enriched everybody's world who, who, uh, uh, who, uh, who participated. Almost kind of a, a community of writers, a, an ensemble and in I, a way. No, but and the and actors and designers, I mean, you, we learned the way design, uh, on those beaches and those nights, how do you design something, how you take a play apart, how Bobby Lewis, how, you, how an actor, how a director uses the, what does Stanislavski mean? I mean, they'd, studi they'd studied with Stanislavski, you know, they'd been to, I mean, this is the way we take a script, this is the way we deal with the script. Uh, it was overwhelming because we were getting an insight, we were being given a key into the way a theater that never existed.